Paraben's E3 forensic platform processes a variety of different file systems associated with computers. From the acquisition to the analysis, there are options for finding valuable artifacts when looking at computer data with E3. The following tutorial will walk you through the analysis of data from Microsoft Windows. E3 will support the analysis of data from Windows, Linux, and Mac systems. If you are interested in a personal one-on-one -on -one demonstration, please reach out to us at forensics at paraben.com. We are going to start using the E3 platform to analyze a computer image file of a Windows 11 system. We always start every case with a case creation. Once that is done, we are going to click on Add Evidence, go to the image file, and then we are going to use the Auto Detect function. Now, we will need to navigate the location of where our E01 file is. E3 supports a variety of image types, and we offer a free imaging tool as well. Now, I will select the E01, and we are going to click Open. We can change the name of the data for our case and select the OK button. The E3 NTFS settings will pop up and we can make our selections. These selections can search for deleted files and folder structures. Look in the NTFS root directory, recover folder structure from a bad image, etc. We are going to leave everything default and click the OK button. Now we can start expanding the nodes of our image and go directly to data triage so we can see a roadmap of what happened. The E3 triage function runs very quickly and can immediately give you a promising idea of what happened with the machine you are investigating. You can identify items such as if cloud storage was used. In this example, it was OneDrive. From here, you can jump into OneDrive and look at the data that was there such as documents and pictures. Triage can continue by going to downloads and seeing what potential artifacts are in this area. You can see the EXE file that the suspect downloaded. You can see detailed data on any of the files from creation, access, and modification times, or other metadata attributes. E3 also allows us to have a full search function inside the triage feature. If we want to go into deeper analysis with a specific artifact, we can jump into an example with email. We see two email databases and one of them is active. If we open our nodes, we see it is an Outlook OST file. We can immediately decide to open this artifact for additional processing and analysis. We can open in raw mode, which allows the deleted messages to be recovered automatically. With email artifacts, E3 can also recover data from the email dumpsters and do corrupt file repair as part of the processing of these artifacts. As I expand the nodes in the email, I can see data from the inbox. If I want to do a specialized analysis of just this area, I can right-click and select to run the Content Analysis Wizard in E3. I typically will sort and index the data, and I also have the option to do an OCR or Optical Character Recognition Scan as well. There are advanced analysis options that will allow you to look at specific file types for deeper processing or do a customized image scan. Once I have made my selections, I select the Finish button. Data will start processing on a separate thread, and I can continue to do manual analysis. Once the processing is done, E3 will notify the user it is completed. I am going to continue to review the email by opening the email header and looking at the content of the message. You have hundreds of different viewer options that allow you to not only see the messages, but also attachments. In this message, I have two attachments that I can go and review the properties on. Once I receive the notification that the content analysis is complete, I can do more complex searches and review the data in the sorter. There are a lot of different search options available. Multiple languages are supported for searches as well as the OCR functions and searches. I can select keyword searches or add words to a skip list to filter my data results as well. I am going to use the advanced search options and select to search by text or by hex, Boolean, regular expression, or simple search. You can also search by emoji or emoticon, or we can load a set of words into a list to search them all. There are also a lot of predefined lists inside the E3 platform. I am going to select the Boolean expression option. 
If your expression is not correct, E3 will correct it. Once the information is found with the search, you will see the details below with counts of the locations of the searches. We click through those results and the search results will be highlighted for review. Now you can click and bookmark the selected data and add details for your reference later. All of the bookmarks are then available in the bottom right corner. If you want to select a large group of results, you can highlight and add that information to a report from our search results screen. Once all the items are added to the report we can generate, or I can add these items to a skip list to further refine what I am looking for. There is also an option to export the highlighted items in various formats. It could be exported as additional email formats or as a fresh Outlook email file. There are a variety of artifacts with each investigation, so let's look at another. We will explore to see what browser data our suspect had. We can review the different browsers in our triage and go to the data sources immediately. From here, we can expand to review browser histories, date and timestamps, downloads, and more. Details are key, and E3 provides a lot of information on every artifact it supports. Continuing to review the information, we can see everything from logins to passwords. Now, let's jump into internet cookies. With cookies, we can see domains, expiration dates, creation dates, and more. The content analysis options are always available to you. On the right click, you can do a quick search of the data. If we continue to focus on triage, you can go to other valuable artifacts like jump lists, where we can see this data or go to the link files. Each area in data triage is designed to help you find potential vectors for data in an investigation, from malware investigations to intellectual property investigations. We can find data such as this PPT file, where we can go and review the media information. E3 is full of options that can adjust to each investigator's needs and workflow. With many built-in viewers, such as SQLite, we can easily find what we are looking for. You can also jump into logs and other specialized Windows files or go through the parsing of the Windows registry. Many valuable artifacts can help to decode the activities of the user on the computer and dive into other details such as network connections, FTP connections, and more. If you prefer to approach your analysis with different timelines, there are multiple options available. I am going to browse through a few of these areas. When you sign up for a custom demonstration, each of these areas can be reviewed in depth so you can see specific artifacts. As I find valuable information, I can highlight, right click, use my content analysis functions, or do a search. As we continue to explore, we can see data in the user accounts and when they last logged in. Your opportunities for data artifacts are endless and E3 provides fast reference to many through the data triage. The full manual processing of the image is also an option for doing a full content analysis of the entire image and jumping into searches right away. You have options with your workflow with E3. Please reach out if you're interested in a personal one-on-one -on -one demonstration at forensics at paraben.com.